this is the original Genesis bow. The benefit with the original Genesis bow, it's 100% ready to be shot out of the box. The other benefit is it has an unlimited draw length, will fit virtually anybody. The adjustable draw weight will go from 10 to 20 pounds, which makes it very easy for anybody to draw the bow to their size and stature and be able to comfortably shoot and have fun with this bow. The Genesis bow may be designed for youth, but it comes standard with highly machined aluminum parts. The riser, the cam, and the idler wheel, the string and the cable are handmade here at Genesis and 100% hand assembled. All these components used add up to one very durable bow. This is a great youth package bow. It comes with everything you need in it just to get someone out shooting who's a, a little guy. So this bow goes from 16 to 26 and a half inches draw length range. 40 pounder will go down to four and a half pounds at the lowest draw length setting. A couple other cool features on this cam is we actually have a performance setting and a grow with you setting. I'll go over that in a minute. So as you see, it comes with a rest, quiver, three arrows, stabilizer, and a wrist sling. You can see there's two settings here on the cam. The outside setting is a performance setting and the inside setting is our grow with you setting just to give you a little smoother draw feel. So if someone's really, really new to it, which most young archers will be, you can actually move that cord, that cable, from the outside groove to the inside groove to give you a little bit smoother draw. You want to make sure that matches both top and bottom. To adjust draw lengths, there's an Allen screw in here, which you'll find the appropriate in your user guide. You'll find all your draw length and draw weight settings for everything you can do on this bow. It will have performance setting and grow with you settings and the number of turns out uh, corresponding to what draw length and what draw weight each will be. So use that as a reference guide to set your bow up uh, to the appropriate draw length and draw weight. And then the front of this is your warranty. So make sure you fill it out and get your bow registered for the warranty. To attach your quiver bracket, find the quiver bracket in the bag with your other uh, information. Um, and this is going to screw onto the sight in the back position. Putting your quiver on, remove your arrows. Then slide the quiver into the quiver bracket and the back piece locks it down. Then you can reinstall your arrows. So now we're ready. Go outside, have some fun, and shoot some. Raptor by Predator Archery. We're going to go over assembly and how to set it up for you. So first thing when you get the bow, you're going to come in this uh, nice protective styrofoam box. You'll be able to, uh, if you don't have a case in the future, you'll be able to use this uh, later for your arrow storage on the top of the box. Um, we're going to go over the different accessories. The first thing you want to get out is your Allen wrench set, which is this guy right here included. Uh, and then we're going to take out all the accessories. We're going to have the arrow rest, which is going to come in the bag here. We're going to pull that out. We have the stabilizer here. You have your sight, and we have your quiver. So we're going to go ahead and take all this stuff out. The bow is wedged in here nice and snug for shipping, so just pull on and a little bit and it'll pop loose. Okay? We're going to line the ORS and the sight. Uh, so what we'll do is you'll want to look down the string uh, with one eye closed and line the string up with the seam that you see in the grip. Uh, once you have one eye closed and that is lined up, you'll want to move your arrow rest to where this hole is being cut by your alignment. So if you're looking down the string, line this up, you should also be cutting this hole. And the second piece is you should be lined up with the pin tip. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move the arrow rest over and your sight over in order to accomplish that right now. Okay, so to move your sight uh, left to right or up and down, we're going to get these two gang adjustments here. Uh, left and right is going to be the top one. We're using the 964 Allen wrench that it comes on the included set. You'll then loosen this up just a little bit. 
alignment of the bow, you're going to pull it to where your pins are also directly in line with the string and the air rest hole. Uh, and this is a good starting point. Uh, don't be alarmed if it doesn't line up like this when you shoot because due to different uh, ways that people hold the bow and eyesight and eye alignment and things like that, it may be slightly off. So we're just going to tighten this. All right, now that we've adjusted the sight over, you can see that aligning the string directly down the air rest also blocks out the pins. So you, that's how we know we're in proper alignment to start with. Uh, one other adjustment I want to mention is this is your cable guard. It's what holds your cables out of the way of your arrow. Uh, this is made to be adjustable. Uh, behind the adjust the pins, we're going to use a 3 30 second Allen wrench. And on the back side, we're going to just go ahead and loosen the one here. So we're going to loosen the top one because that's going to be the first pin we slide in. So we're going to loosen this and we want to slide this as high as possible to leave, to leave us room for all of our other pins. So in this case, we're going to put it up here. Uh, we'll sight this in for 20. Um, the general rule of thumb is sight this in for 20 and then put in your 30. So your 30 pin should be a little bit below your 20. About a quarter inch is a good starting point. Um, if you do this, what we'll do next is when we go out and shoot, we'll sight in our 20 pin by moving the main gang adjustment. So that'll be this whole head will move up and down. Uh, using the 532nd screw for up and down. Um, once that 20 set, we'll then set each pin after that. So 30, followed by 40, 50, and 60. Um, 10 yards a piece is a general good rule of thumb. Not everybody does that. You can set it fives or 20s. Uh, just note that you're going to have to use split pins for anything. Um, when these come on the bows, they are pretty tied, pretty loose. So you can freely spin them around the string. Sometimes you can also slide them. Um, that is normal to be set up that way because you need to adjust it. Uh, if they're push together, you can also just pull one down. And uh, the alignment for this, we use a couple of tools. A bow square is the correct tool to use. All right, so we're using a bow square here. Um, I have lined this for the bottom of the arrow rest here. And we're gonna push this up to about 1 16th from the bottom uh, knot. Uh, if you're looking from the top knot, you're at about uh, 3 eighths, roughly, um, to 5 16 and you'll need enough spacing in here for your arrow knock, so that may change depending on uh, uh, what the width of your knock is. Other than that, you have your keep sight is going to be the next piece. I would just test it where it comes. It's at about six inches from the factory, depending on where you move this loop to. Uh, the height you need for, your, for you depends on your draw length. So it's about six inches now. It is adjustable. You can pull the bottom tie a little bit, pull the peep down slightly, and then pull the bottom tie down all the way. Um, you can move this to whatever is comfortable. When a couple of additional features included on the Predator Archery Raptor is the string stop, which is going to help with accuracy and bow noise. It also comes with a pair of limb vibration dampeners. One major feature that sets the Raptor apart from other entry-level compounds is that our cams and modules are 100% machined aluminum. 90% of all bows in this price range have plastic modules which make the bow unusable when they crack. In the rare event that you ever need to use your warranty, Predator Archery is based in the United States for easy communication. Hello everyone, I'm here today with the Creative XP Glass Harrier Compound Bow. I've just opened up the bow and got the contents laid out here in front of me. We've got the bow itself, it comes with a quiver, a couple arrows, a 5 pin sight, a rubber stabilizer, and an arrow rest. And we're going to walk you through how to set up all these pieces and get this bow ready to shoot. First up, we're going to install the arrow rest. We're going to begin by taking these two pieces and putting them together in an L-shaped fashion. And there's a third small piece with a screw that will connect these two pieces into that L. So we're just going to screw those together and tight. Now it's ready to go on the bow. That's the right-handed bow. But the arrow rest is going to be positioned on the opposite side. Uh, so you're on the back side of the bow. So we're going to set up just like that. We're going to use the big screw the arrow rest came with uh, to lock, lock the rest in place right there. We want the uh, arrow entry in the top left of the rest. Once you've installed the pin sight into either the A hole or the B hole on the bow frame, you can start uh, adjusting the sight. It can move left or right using this uh, screw up top here. It can move uh, up and down using uh, this screw right here on the side. You can make adjustments um, as you start to shoot uh, using those two screws. The pins also uh, adjust. They usually go up to, you'll start with the top pin, will be your 20 yard pin, and then it'll be 10 yard increments from there. To adjust those, you can see we've got a bunch of 
small screws on the side and uh, I'll space those out now. Once you've spaced your pins out, you're ready to install the rubber stabilizer. That's going to go up just on the uh, bottom of the frame right here. It's a place for it to screw in nice and easy. All set there. Next up, we're going to show you how to adjust the draw length of the bow. And to do that, we're going to look at these modules that are on opposite sides of the bow. First, we're going to loosen the uh, middle screw. Once we do that, we're able to remove the outer screw, which I have already done. We're going to replace the outer screw at our desired draw length number. And those numbers uh, you can see in the owner's guide. Can, it'll show you uh, which numbers compared to which draw lengths. So I'm going to put the screw back in at a draw length of 8, which corresponds to 28.5 inches, just to match up with the other side of my bow, which I've already done. So find the 8 and screw that in. Next up, we're going to attach the bow quiver. The uh, quiver is a, a hexagonal shape, which is going to attach uh, right up here to this hexagon uh, in the bow frame. And the peep sight is adjustable. You can slide these knots up or down, uh, depending on, on your preference. As you start shooting, uh, you're going to want to make adjustments with your pin sight. If the arrows are going up, you always want to move the sight with the arrow. One other thing, you always want to make sure if you're looking uh, at the bow from a side angle like this, you want the arrow to be to be perfectly straight. If it's not, try to adjust your rest a little up or a little down to uh, make sure that arrow is straight for when you're shooting. Gen X bow comes with the standard Gen X cam, which allows the archer to increase your weight to 40 pounds. It's going to increase your arrow velocity, and 40 pounds draw weight is legal for bow hunting in all states. The Gen X bow is available as a standalone bow only or accessorized with all the components. The Gen X kit includes a whisker biscuit style rest, a three pin sight, and a detachable quiver that comes with four arrows. All you need to add is the knock point and you're ready to start shooting.